enough they can tap into those winds and produce that severe weather. So that's why we have that in effect. Uh, from the live radar, we're going to go back to X-Vision now. This will be a new scan, and we can get a better glimpse of the storm first in Muhlenberg County. So we're going to go there, and uh, then we'll just kind of work up and down our line of storms. As the X-Vision uh, moves in here, remember this is a three-dimensional view of the storms that we can do in real time right here on the air. I'm actually moving this uh, scan. And it's interesting to note the storm here over Hopkins County there has now topped out at about 35,000 feet. That would be the one uh, I would suspect would be producing large hail. Then to the east of that, the storm over Muhlenberg County, not quite as tall, but it uh, is... Uh, is showing, uh, at least has shown, uh, some rotation in it. It's about 20 to 25,000 feet tall. It, too, may be tapped into colder air aloft that uh, could help it to produce some large hail. And then as we go all the way up this line uh, back towards southern Illinois, this will be a, a little different uh, view of it here. We're actually going to kind of turn it sideways so you can see the line as it's coming in. Here's Henderson and Evansville. We're looking back to the west now. And as we move this 3D tool, you can definitely see that the strongest stuff is well to the south, the most well-developed storms, whereas uh, the line here as you get farther north, say over southern Illinois, these storms still around 10,000 feet so they have not matured yet. All the energy is being directed there to the south, and we can see that very plainly on X-Vision.